everyone today I'm up here in the Olympics and um, I was uh, on my way down this ridge here I'm gonna pick up a game camera I put out here oh, over a month ago and the reason I uh, put it here is because right over here I found where uh, I call them bone stackers. Um, I found this here. It's where an animal that came up here probably drug up a, a leg or something off of a deer and ate it right here. When they're done, they always stack the bones. I find this from time to time. You know, when you get way out, I'll find it. I found hillsides was just. Um, body after body and they'll sometimes if they get the whole thing and they're able to consume it there they'll stack all the bones there and the thing that I find interesting about that is no other animals will mess with the bones and those bones can sit there those there have probably been there all year or over a year or so and in the Olympics bones don't last very long squirrels will come and chew on them but nothing has touched those and I set a camera down here because there's kind of a well-worn path in here so I'm gonna go down it but while I was doing this I wanted to um, there's something big been in here but um, I wanted to talk to you guys about the upcoming field trip on June the 4th I wanted to put a reminder out and then I will also um, put a Google Earth map at the end of this and um, so then uh, you'll know where to meet which will be at the end of the Reeser Creek Road there in Ellensburg just when it turns into the Forest Service Road and it gets out there to um, you know where the cattle are and stuff there'll be cattle guards there and stuff like that but um that's where we'll meet there's a pull-off there where they like during the winter they unload their snowmobiles because they do a lot of snowmobile up in there and then I will actually put another um, another uh, pin on that map to show where uh, we are going to uh, be collecting rock collecting down here someplace I put a camera let's see if it's still here there it, is. it might not be oh there it is right there it blended in pretty good so, yeah it's been here for quite a while and it's been pointing up this direction so anything that's come up this ridge right here this goes down to a over this hill down here there's a stream down there and um, yeah it just drops right in there right down to the stream and um, but I've been wanting to get down to that stream. I have another camera way out in there, probably pretty close to the stream, but down, I don't know, maybe a mile and a half, two miles. And um, but then I have another camera. It's that way, probably about 10 miles. And I have other cameras, but they're not in here. But, um, I always like putting cameras out so I, I know what's in the area and this here area is got some interesting stuff in it but we'll see if anything interesting is came up there I'm gonna take a look at this trail down in here see if anything before I pull that camera that trail there looks like heavy animals have walked on it it looks like probably a browser's been in here. 
Yeah. It was like maybe this way. But anyhow, yeah, we'll see what come on this, or I will. I don't know if anybody really. Oh, there might not even be anything on it. Well, it just drops off on this side too. But um, one of the reasons why though I'm focusing on this area because I got rumors of rhodonite in this area and there's a stream up there probably another couple miles above me. Um, I have heard that rhodonite was found on it and it looked like pretty good stuff and um, I know in my youth we used to ride our motorcycles all through the hills in here back in the 70s and there was a magnesium mine up above me but um something like that, that way we can see where the woodpeckers have worked that old cedar there when it was above Here it is. It's fairly dark in here, and it's about noon, maybe one o'clock. Probably a deer walked right there. Then I'm going to get this camera out. But um, yeah, I will put the information at the end of this video, which won't be a very long video. But on June the fourth, I won't be going over till that morning i was gonna do maybe be there a friday you know get there friday morning but i don't think i'll be able to um but i'll spend the night there um saturday so all right well i'm gonna take this off here and then i'll go home and see if anything showed up so all right well um, I hope to see you guys there on June the 4th. I will have a good time. There's lots of agate. There's a big area in there. You can walk around, pick stuff up. Um, uh, we should have a good time. So, hope to see you there. Thanks for watching. Okay, everyone, um, here I have a piece. It's a small piece of the red black agate. This one here doesn't have a lot of black in it, but um, I polished the edge here. And this will be the type of material we should find up there in the digging site. There seems to be an abundance of it, so, um, so that it should have a, everybody should be able to get some of this material. And we should have a good time up there. But um, and uh, I put some right after this. I will show some um, Google Earth maps. Um, my microphone broke, so I wasn't able to do a voiceover on them to explain each map. So what I'm going to do is kind of give a general overview of what they are. Um, that first map uh, is an overview of the whole area and you'll probably see some pens where I had uh, from last year's field trips you'll see them off to the left and on to the right you'll see the area of parking and where we're gonna meet and, and the actual red black agate beds um, the second uh, Google Earth map is where we're going to meet at. And that's, we're going to meet there on the 4th at 9 a.m. Down there where um, the, where the, the road ends of Reeser Creek. And it turns into the Forest Service Road, the 3500 road there. And that's just before you get into the open uh, game range of where they let cattle out in there. And of the cattle guards just past where we'll meet. 
Um, the third spot is the parking area that will be at up there clo close to the collection site. Uh, the pen isn't exactly where we'll be parking. We'll just be parking in that area up there. There's um, some different areas in there to park. We should be able to get everybody in there. Um, the fourth uh, Google Earth map is the actual collecting area, but that whole area up there has agates. I mean, you can walk almost any direction and find some agate of some sort. But uh, where I have it pinned is the main area where there's the biggest agate that I have found. And the fifth map is the relationship between where we're going to park and the agate bed. So you got to get an idea of how far we have to walk. So, well, I hope to all see you there. That's June the 4th. We'll meet at 9 a.m. I don't know what time we'll get up to the collection site. It's about seven miles, I think, to from where we're going to meet to where they you actually go in the road up there. Uh, they don't upkeep it, so you got to go slow so you don't blow out a tire on a chuck hole or something. But um, from what I've heard, the snow is melted, so we should have a good day up there. Well, I hope to see you there. And, um, yeah, we'll have a good time. Thank you for watching.